Hi, welcome back. This is Excel Video 69, and I want to show you some fairly complicated, screwy application of VLOOKUP. What I've got here is I've got a list of, if I scroll over, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, seven partners in a medical practice in a total, and then I've got the units that they own in, say, an LLC, and the percentage of the total. So this is just Dr. A's percentage divided by the overall total. Here's Dr. D's percentage, 3,000 divided by the overall total. And that's all fine and good. I think that makes sense, and that's pretty straightforward. And then we've got a couple of things that happen during the year. Dr. C sells some units. Dr. G purchases some units. A and B purchase units. G purchases more units as he uh, joins the practice, say. So I've got all this information that happens during the year. And what I want is a summary over here that shows me what percentage at each time during the year, 1, 1, 2010, 3, 31, the end of each quarter, at the end of the year, how many shares or how many units each physician owns of the practice. The challenge is if you try to copy and write formulas, because I've got the percentage here, then I want Dr. B's percentage is two cells away, Dr. C's is two cells away. If I copy this formula, if I just try to add this and add this and add this, it's not going to work because these are only one column different and each of these is two columns different. I could write a formula and do plus this, and the corner and do plus this, and then do plus this. But the next problem is that when I try to copy down, I can't even copy it this way, because I don't want to keep track of all of these lines in between. All I want is this beginning balance, into the quarter, into the quarter, into the quarter, and into the year. So I've got a lot of extra rows and extra columns here if I want to summarize and copy it down. So what I did is I wrote this big, complicated formula up here. And when I write it, I can take all this and take all this, copy this one formula down, and this formula, say here, goes over to here, and this formula here goes over a couple of columns, over a couple of rows, and finds it exactly. And let me show you how on earth the formula works. You're familiar with VLOOKUP. What am I looking for? A18. So I'm looking for this description, A18, up here, and I'm going to find that in this table that goes from A5 to Q13. I'm looking for this description in the table that goes all the way over here. And I'm going to find it right there. And I'm going to find 331 there. And I'm going to find 630 there. So this first VLOOKUP is going to get me onto the right row where I have the end of the quarter, end of the quarter, end of the quarter, corresponding end of the quarter, end of the quarter, end of the quarter. Because this cell here, for example, is going to look up. 930 2010 and it's going to find it here. The next thing you need to know in VLOOKUP is, well, okay, once I find it in this table, how far over do I need to go? Well, look what it, look at this formula. VLOOKUP B17, B26 to C32, 2 comma false. What on earth does that mean? What I'm doing is I'm looking for B17, which is Dr. A, and I've got a second VLOOKUP table here that says when you find Dr. A, the column you want is the third column. When you find Dr. B, the column you want is the fifth column. Dr. C, the seventh column. If you come up here, see, here's what I'm looking for. Column one, column two, column three for Dr. A, four for Dr. B, five for Dr. C. So what I'm doing is, with two VLOOKUP formulas together, this first VLOOKUP is finding the right row with this heading here. The second VLOOKUP is using this little table to find the right column. So I can use two VLOOKUPs combined, and by doing that, I can get the right row and the right column, whereas normally in VLOOKUP, you can only get go one dimension, either the right row or the right column. But if you put two of them together, you can, look, get, in, you can get coordinates. Find this and that in the lookup table, and you can make this table look up all by its, you know, with, with one formula and simply copy and paste. Probably a little bit complicated, a little bit weird to look at. You may need to see this one more time. But the idea is, if you use VLOOKUP right, you can put two VLOOKUPs in the same formula and look up both horizontal and vertical information to make it work. I hope that was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.